Hey, what's up everybody? Did you know that 96,000 people move to Las Vegas every single year? The question is why? Well, due to the Fed's interest rate hikes have increased the cost of living for many Americans across the country. Americans are now looking to relocate to Las Vegas because of no state income tax, low unemployment, low cost of living, and affordability for housing. We're also the entertainment capital of the world. So if you are thinking about relocating to Las Vegas, we would like to offer you a free Southern Nevada market report and a relocation guide. All you have to do is click on that link below to claim yours today. All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property home tour. So I'm back at it again out here in the mass plan community of Cadence. That's right. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful single story home by Woodside Homes. The name of this community is called Piermont. Now this home right here is called the Soho. It is planned to. It is a single story that features 2,020 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half. You have a flex space covered patio, two car garage. Price on here starts you off at $504,000. Now let's take a look at it together, guys. So the mass plan community of uh, Cadence is located here in the city of uh, Henderson. You will exit the 215 that transitions over to Lake Mead Parkway. You're going to come on down. So this street right over here is actually uh, Warm Springs. So you are literally from, I'm going to say probably 15 to less than 20 minutes to Harry Reid International. All right, so let's take a look at this. So the garage here, it is a two car garage. It's about 22 to 24 feet deep, two uh, feet on each side, which is a plus. I've noticed they added some LEDs here on the uh, trim, which is really nice. Come off to the side. So you can see we have our gas meter, pressure breaker valve. We got our sprinkler system or irrigation system here. And we have some beautiful landscaping in the front, terracotta on the uh, paver stones. Um, you have heavy stucco. Right here, I definitely would probably add rain gutters because all the rain's gonna come down here, ends up dropping right here. You're better off having the rain come here, shooting down the spout over here, and finishing it off right here to the side. That's something I would probably do. But now I can't wait to show you guys the inside of this thing because it's very cool. You do have a rekey here, which is really nice. I'm gonna take you guys straight back, but as you can see, you have the upgraded tray ceilings here. However, uh, one thing I notice is that we have orange peel texture, but let's just take a look at this real quick. HOAs are gonna be 55 a month, but we're gonna start back off in the beginning here. So there's tons of upgrades as far as lighting. What I do like about this builder right now, you do have the option to build from scratch. The flooring here, you have luxury vinyl planks, okay? Here's your standard baseboards here with the uh, texture. So right over here, we have bedrooms one and two. So let's, let's take a look at this one first. Now this is a pretty decent sized bedroom. You do have four can lighting above with a ceiling fan. All that is an option there. Now this is a pretty decent sized bedroom. Now let's go take a look over here. I definitely do like the, the layout and the floor plan. So looks like your smart panel box is here. And then for your alarm. So we have shaker cabinets full overlays, soft closing, undermounted sink, and delta brush nickel. Alright, so this is your standard Aquatech tub shower combo fiberglass. Now I prefer more the square one because it's bigger, then you don't have this little soap dish here. Then we have our 18 inch ProFlow toilet. So we got a thermostat here, transfer grill or transfer duct 
for the bedroom here, which is a plus. And then our linen closet with one, two, three, four shelves. Coming into the second bedroom, this bedroom is going to be a little bit small. I'm going to say it's probably 10 by 11. Again, we do have pre-wire, actually four can lighting and the ceiling fan. All right, let's flip this around. Bam. We got 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors. And we have a guest bathroom. Let's take a look here. Now, guest bathroom here, laundry room, two car garage, which is we can't get in. However, I noticed that because we have the 12 by 24 tile, it is a lot uh, thinner than the, uh, what do you call, LVP. As you can see, the transition, LVP is going to be a little bit higher, and that's why we have these tra transitional pieces here, which is I really don't like that, but it is what it is. A lot of upgrades on here uh, from the cabinets, washer and dryer. Washer and dryer is not included. This is a heat. 32 inches on the, uh, 36 on the cabinets here with a three inch crown. Beautiful uh, backsplash all the way across. And the box back here, I like how they actually push it flush against the wall, which is really nice. I mean, look at this. This is just gorgeous. 12 foot ceilings here. Love the white. You know what, let's start off down this way. So this is gonna be your flex base, not the thermostat here. So we know it's a two zone right now. However, you need to check if it's one or two AC units. It's probably gonna be one. So in this flex space, it looks like they've utilized this as a office space for the kids which is, I think is a very good idea. So this very, I mean, this fits very well. Now let's take a look at this kitchen here because this is a beautiful kitchen, even though that we're using quartz countertops, white shaker cabinets here. And it looks like the cabinets were extended. So that would be an upgrade, especially with the shelves too. And the backsplash, I love the color white here. Definitely does pop. But as far as like the type of materials, you see this so often now where it's starting to kind of lose its luster. I remember when you, when it first came out with shaker cabinets and quartz countertops and stuff like that. I mean, this was the thing to have, but it's starting to become dull. Uh, this refrigerator is not the right refrigerator in here. You can actually get a counter depth refrigerator. We have a microwave and an oven. You can actually do a double stack with a convection. So depending on the package that you do want here. Now we do have some soft closing cabinets, beautiful brushed nickel hardware. On this one, it looks like they did the dovetails, which is really nice. Then we have our pantry. Now believe it or not, for 2,000 square feet for a home like this, this is a pretty decent size. I mean, now one thing I definitely would change here is that I believe that this is the wrong cook countertops. You need the six burner, 36 inch. This is just way too small. If you upgrade to 36 inch, then you're gonna have to spread this out even wider. This is the wrong configuration for this layout, for the size of this kitchen here. Now we also have one, two, total three slabs. Uh, you can see where the seams are. The reason why they're doing that is because again, it's only 12 feet here, right? 12, 12, 12, so it's about, what is that, 30, 36 feet long, okay? So that's why they have that seam. Love the undermounted uh, LED lights here. Now with the new LED lights, you don't need a light rail, which is really cool, so I do like that. And it looks like my phone's been on all this time. I wonder why my pocket was getting hot. So again, we have 10 foot ceilings here, but then right above here, we have 12 foot ceilings in the main living. Here we have our primary, and I do love this dining area. Everything is all completely opened up. However, typically you would have a window here, but it looks like they did an eight foot stack slide here. But I love the fact that the stack slide opens up from this side 
and this side. So it really gives you the appearance that outdoor indoor living. However, let's come on outside. But look how large this cover patio is. You got some lights here. You can do a ceiling fan too as well. But as large as this is, I would probably do some sort of pre-wire for your TV and also for your camera system. You have the extra door here for your primary. The backyard is probably about a 20 foot deep as far as depth wise. Uh, we do have synthetic grass. Now they do make all type of synthetic grass and the look is completely different from one brand to another, okay? Uh, this is not your top tier. I can just tell by the thickness as I'm walking on it. Some of these are actually pet friendly. Some of them, the way that they make, reflects the sun. So that way, if you do have pets, it doesn't burn the paws of your dog, okay? Gas line here. And as I'm walking on it, I can tell it's not completely leveled. So whoever installs your landscaping, uh, just let them know and make sure you have your drain swell as well. Here we have our 14 sear um, Goodman AC unit. So it looks like it's only one with a dual zone here. So that way there's actually a damper. All right, let's go back inside because it's nice and cool in here. I'm telling you, it's getting very hot out here in Las Vegas. You probably don't want to move out here. Now this is a very large bedroom. We have a king size bed. The nightstands are about three feet wide, so really decent size. Now let's take a look at the, uh, the bathroom. So we have a zero threshold here that transitions from carpet to the uh, tile, tile, 12 by 24. Then we have our shower tub, love this. Then we have a window. Water closet here. We got the Pro Flow again, 18 inches. I prefer something a little bit higher. Then our vanity, under mountain sink. I believe these are all Colliers. Again, Delta fixtures, beautiful backsplash. Looks like we have some trim and some work that needs to be done over here. A little overspray with the other uh, paint. And we have our attic access right above here. You also have distribute sounds, that is an option. A lot of builders nowadays are now specking out the uh, homes. Now they do have one that is a, a standing inventory um, that they are trying to liquidate and that's where you can get you know, your better deals. I believe I can get probably about $20,000 off of that one. So if you guys are interested in that one, stay tuned because I'm gonna do their standing inventory uh, the next video. Also remember for the next week, we're gonna do a bunch of series on homes out here in the mass plan community of Cadence. Now, also, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button because we update new videos and educational videos every single day. And it's very important that you do subscribe and also hit that notification button. So that way you are updated with new communities, new products, and things that you should be looking out for. And this is the only channel that does provide that to you as a consumer. Also, if you do not have a real estate agent, okay, give me a call. We definitely would love the opportunity to make time for you and earn your business and walk you through the process of purchasing your new home. From resale homes, brand new homes, if you're looking to get into investing, we can definitely help you with that too as well. And also, if you're local out here looking to sell your home, we also sell homes as well. Other than that, I really wish you guys nothing but the best and be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.